the traveling experience in the South Island is like. and the snow-capped mountain literally just slapped on your face. There's no doubt that New Zealand is stunning all around, but in my opinion, Mount Cook is definitely the highlight of our trip in the South Island. And this place is all about the snow-capped mountains, glacier, and the multiple choices of hiking and walking trail. We started off with a short climb to the Tasman Glacier view on our first evening here. It should take around 15 to 30 minutes to reach the top. Though it's only a 1km climb, but the elevation change is around 100 meters in height. So it'll be an uphill burst on several short staircases. I think it should not be a problem for most people, but someone with knee issue may want to take note of this. <laughs> On the way up, you will pass by an intersection which route you to Blue Lake. It was a relatively short walk, so it does not matter if you do the Blue Lake now or later when descending from the top. Wish that I could be a little clever Find the words to tell you how I'm feeling Come along, let's take this walk together in life that we are imploded with emotions and no words could define how we felt. And this was one of those moments. Stunned by the magic stick nature, its beauty, but most importantly, we were able to share this moment together with someone we truly love and care for. Else, these are mostly meaningless. Have a conversation Find the words To tell me how you're feeling All I'm asking is have a little patience Leaving Tech Apple and heading towards Mount Cook. In the rest of this video, we'll cover the list of activities along the way to Mount Cook. Can't you see? I'm happy that I found our first stop was at Lake Pukaki, which is a popular point where most travellers will stop by to admire the 179 square kilometres of glacier blue water, and some consider the most beautiful alpine lake in the South Island. Within the compound, 
is the visitor center and the famous Mount Cook Alpine Salmon Shop. It is really just a small shop selling freshly packed salmon sashimi. If you are a fan of salmon sashimi, I would highly recommend you to visit High Country Salmon Cafe and Farm. It is just a 10 minute drive from Lake Pukaki. A cafe within a salmon farm. And that's how fresh your salmon is here. After Lake Pukaki, we make a short detour to Twizer, a small town 7 minutes away. We had our brunch here, but the main reason for this short detour was to stock up on groceries. Mao Cook village is actually quite a small tourist village. And from what I had learned, there are limited selection of groceries and the price are quite steep. So it is best to stock up before heading towards Mao Cook. And the last stop, Alpine Lavender Farm. It's a shame that we are two weeks early before the lavender fully bloom. But nevertheless, it is still a nice place. And of course, remember to try the different flavoured lavender ice cream. Is it nice? Yes. <laughs> so it's nice? Yes. As we get closer to Mount Cook, the south snow-capped mountains are more apparent. And from this point on, your driving experience will literally turn into a motion painting. Everything is so surreal. And soon it became a common sight to see travellers stopping their vehicles to admire the scenery and take pictures. In fact, this happened all around in New Zealand. And you would know when you reach Mount Cook, because you are totally surrounded by mountains. Mount Cook. Mount Cook. Okay. So come here. 
and just my little brother again <laughs> and my mommy <laughs> and oh, this is like a chair where we eat I think and then this is like a sofa to watch TV and then our first bit mm -hmm. so I'm going to introduce and our second bit I don't know who's gonna sleep in the first bed. But the last part is the stinky part. I don't think you wanna know the stinky part. How about part. the kitchen? Yeah, the kitchen I know. Yeah, that's kitchen. And the last part is the stinky part. This is our garden. And one time I got Cave 